Hey collectors, Anthony from Net here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United to Daniel King. This was the PulseCon exclusive, and as you see in front of you, they are a recolor slash slight remold, because they have extra pieces, of Volcanicus, which is the Dinobot core combiner. And of course you see the figures, you see the box, you see the instructions, which is some thick instructions, and the Don't Hurt Yourself paper. So remember, don't hurt yourself. Moving on without trying to move these guys. Um, I like the look classic box look. And if you're familiar with uh, the show that these guys come from, it's actually one of the uh, Japanese anime ones. Because they're also re releasing the Autobot show uh, out of the uh, Astro Train mold. So, like, you you get a couple options of figures for this uh, series, which is Victory, by the way. It took me a second to get that in there. But, uh, yeah, it's it's fine. It, they do a lot of, like, um, trying to mimic, but also be new with the design on it. Because, of course, these are, these are from the, the late 80s, early 90s, I think. And uh, as <laughs> I accidentally tipped something over, here's what the back of the box looks like. Uh, they give you... This is where I'm like, well, this is some weird retro thing going on here. Uh, here is all the figures. Here is the legacy typical side thing. And then you get the... The specs. Oh, it's for the combined form. Uh, witness the power of Dino King. The six Dino Force warriors combine together to form Dino King, a violent force that will stop at nothing to destroy his foes. And it says that he has eight muscle. Uh, looks like six intelligence. Uh, he has what? What? Five speed, maybe. And like eight firepower. Okay, I'm reading that badly, maybe. But uh, yeah, that's just what we're getting here. So yeah, that's it for the box. And then here are the figures. So word of warning: the paper that comes in the box is actually double wrapped, which is great. But then you have all these extra pieces. Now the feet, and I think two of the weapons are uh, tied to the box, but. The rest, of course, in that paper. So I had to put them together to get them to this form. So we start here. I have one comparison because I, I did not buy the Volcanicus parts, but I only have Scar here. And you can see what the difference is. Just really simply coloring. Although I realized the tail is sideways. Is the tail, can the tail be moved? Oh, no, it can't. Okay. So that's a change they made. It's interesting. The arm goes up and down on there. Okay. Because, like, him is static. There's no movement on Scar. But to otherwise colorize, you know, it's fine. Uh, I'll put Scar back here on the shelf. Uh, but we'll get a closer look at him. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Very simple as a core figure. So... Um, and I don't know the names of these guys individually. I mean, I may have watched the series they were in. But I didn't, like, I watched it once and I didn't memorize anything. <laughs> Barely remember character names. Uh, so here is the Stegosaurus. I have, his, have him holding a sword. I, I couldn't get it to, like, latch in anywhere. So I was like, oh, you know, that's a good place, if any. But uh, here's what he looks like. He has half the, like, the axe sickle thing. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, of course, we get to the, the Pterodon, I guess is what it is. But, uh, yeah, just basically a uh, white swoop. He has a fist. This fist also has um, additional articulation. But uh, yeah, we'll stick him over here. And then the Triceratops. So very nice. He has some of the axe, some of the guns. So and there's like a you have to open up his top to get the peg hole. But uh, yeah, um, really nice. Uh, I was oh this is head. I say his mouth opens, but there's a head in there. Uh, and of course, here's the head for the combiner as part of his tail. And uh, next, we have him. And of course, he has the feet. And uh, there's some honking feet. Although, I like a nice, stable combiner foot, you know? the I saw Volcanicus over at Moose's. And uh, he's just, you know, he's kind of missing that Genesee Quad, that extra quality you get from having good feet and hands. Uh, but I mean, you know, we're going for a budget price and when you get these special sets, of course the price is a little higher than they would probably be individually uh, Or comparable, but uh, they're saving on boxing stuff and they can make up for the difference by giving you a little bit of extra so 
Here's this guy. Oh, okay. I was like, does his mouth open? No. So it's pretty much uh, articulation is if, you know, there's a need for it type of situation. So, yeah. So that is the beasts. And I guess what I want to do now is convert them to the robot modes and to their combiner modes and then eventually combine them. So let's get to that. Okay, so let's start with Gyu and um, pull off the tail here. Uh, I believe I flip up his body. Um, we'll flip the waist 180 degrees. And let's see. Um, fold these out. Oh, we're already. Okay, cool beans. Uh, let's see. I'm going to flip this peg around, I think. Yeah. Or, actually, can I keep it in there? No. Well, it doesn't look good. I'm going to do that. Like this. Separate the legs. And then. Let's see. I'm going to move these arms out of the way. Put the legs around here. It looks like they fit there, right? And uh, then he can hold the tail as a weapon. So, can the wrist articulate on a hint? No, okay. So, wrist on weapon. And uh, looking pretty good. I like it. It's fine. Looks out rather nicely. Okay, so next up is Goryu. I'm going to take the tail off and the club off. And uh, let's see, pull these out. Okay, cool. We already got some legs. Separate those. And then there is shoulders here. Because, oh, I mean, this is like Grimlock, so in theory, some of that should be the same. There we go. Is it just... Well, it just kind of goes back there like that. Okay. Can I get it to go deeper, or is this peg in the way? There we go. There we go. Let's see. Can they combine? No. Okay. So, this becomes a gun. Can get it into his hand. There we go. And then this into his other hand. Just tiny little pegs. Wow, that really does not want to go in there. There we go. That looks pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Now what to do here? And I think we're done. Here's take a look at him. Super excited. He got his hands up. Ready to beat somebody. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so next up is Doryu. We'll pull the sickle off his back and the sword out of his hand. And uh, let's see. Um, there we go. Fold that out. Oh, is there something in the way? No. Okay. Here we go. Fold the legs in. Are these? Oh, they're not going to move. Okay, I thought that maybe they would move, but they don't. Um, let's see. <laughs> Got to remember these are originally the Dinobots. So we're going to get some like similar looking things going on. Is that it? Okay. Turn the head around. And peg that from the thing right here. And then we can give him his sickle and his sword. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at him. If you die, he's the last face you see. Yep, definitely the last face. So that's pretty neat. Put him over here. Okay, next is Yoko Ryu. Uh, let's see. Take off the hand here. Put it down. Um, obviously, he's like swoop, so legs. We'll stretch those out and we'll peg them. 
let's see we'll fold these back uh we'll pull the arm off Ooh. let me know in the comments if your swoops arm comes off uh let's see pull let's can we I'm trying to here we go but is that bit supposed to be intervening there we go and now we can put it down here's his head just his wings eh, I don't know however I want it I guess so yeah here's what he looks like clearly tell this was swoop except this is really low but uh, yeah it's pretty good oh I forgot to give him his weapon Guess hold it like that. So it's a purse with a gun on it. <laughs> okay, next is Ryu. Ryu. We'll take the feet off. Stick them here. Oh, here's the head. Stretch this out. Ooh, this is interesting. He's kind of clumped together. It's very interesting. Anyway, separate the arms. Oh, if I remember, like, he's a, like a main combiner point, so he's like super, like, jointed together weird, because, like, this is his thighs. Anyway. I don't think there's anything more to him. I wonder how... So he just... Well... Um, there's like, there's these pegs here. Oh, I see. No, wait. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. He just holds them like this. I definitely don't want to mess with him. Man, he gets short, though. It's like, I don't think he gets any longer. There. Turn him 180, though. I don't, know, I don't know if that's any better, <laughs> but here's what he looks like. Got that Megatron white going on. Okay, on to Kakariu. And we'll pull this off. So, I think these two combine like this. There we go, because that's the combiner gun. And this, like this, pull this off. And uh, let's see. Pull around. And then, oh wow, that actually was pretty quick. Okay, now do these have a resting place? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, oh, these are on some ratchets. I already got these out because of the transformation. Here's the head. So how do you get the hands so you can hold things? Wow, that is that I don't know how you can hear this. There's no rotation here. Oh, I see. I flip these around. There we go. And now I can hold things. Bailey. There you go. Got that that and I guess the head go back here just aimlessly holding a head no reason don't ask but uh, here's what he looks like very interesting hi <laughs> I'll put him over here okay so now we're gonna start combined mode and we're gonna start with Kakariu which is this one here at the head and we're basically going to get him back to his dino mode but with a couple of changes here actually can I well here let's see I think let's see if I can pull the head off here the head just goes in here but uh, let's convert him feet up like this Turn his arms back around the correct way. 
close up the face. Okay. His arms attached to this spot down here. Use a little tab. And hopefully I got it right. I think that might might be it for that. We'll stick these aside for right now, but that's I guess the maybe if I move these it'll yeah, kinda like this. Um I feel like I should put this here. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out if it goes anywhere else in a minute. Okay, so Ryu, I want to say this one right here. We'll take these off, throw them in the side, and he, I guess, looks like. Uh, let's see. Kind of like what? What? Uh, like this, like this. be a place where it connects I think oh okay so there is a tab over here it's a little, little okay now we just make sure it's in the right place I think that's pretty much it for him. I guess we'll get on to the next one. He isn't going to stand up. Okay, on to Yoko Ryu. I'm going to put the hand back like this. And let's see. Um, attach the legs. Flip this around, I think. And then we're going to fold the arms. Okay, they clip in here. Fold the arm, clip in here. Uh, move this up. Like this. I'm not quite sure how the peg works yet. But, uh... Somewhere, here we go. Okay, cool. There we go, that's the fist. I fold the wings. Arm, let's see. How? Like this. Like this. Maybe. But we'll, we'll uh, move on to the next one and see where that goes. Okay, on to Guy Ryu. Yeah. So, let's see. Uh, we'll take this off for a sec and hmm connect the legs this goes down here there we go i'm connected the thing here is the peg move the legs up Oh, they lock in nicely over here. They find a nice place to lock in. Let's see, where do the arms go? Do we complete back the chest? Do we just do this, lock it in? I mean, that seems right, right? Yeah. So we got arms done. So let's stick that aside here. So moving on to Goryu. He might be the most complicated one because of how I have to get his legs folded. Let's see. Uh, these are correct. I have to find the peg. It's right here. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, this goes. This here. Really? Oh, okay. I mean, doesn't that look like the necker for the foot? But sure. 
How do I get him? Okay, like that. And then toes connect. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, okay, head goes over here. Okay, so let's... Head goes over here. I mean, it's not overly difficult. Like, it's somewhat intuitive. The clip in the waist. I don't know if there's any clipping down here. I don't think so. That doesn't look like it. Oh, I see. The foot goes... There. So, it doesn't matter which foot. I guess we'll find out when we get to the end. Okay, and then finally the Doryu before we can get to the combining mode. So, let's take apart his weapons. Actually, now that I have all the pieces, I think I can build the sickle like this. And then I can just put this aside. And he is similar to the last one. There we go. Uh, pull this up. Let's see. Arms like this, maybe? Do they connect? We want this to happen here, and then we want these to go into the pelvic region here. Go. And then we want these to go here. Come on, get in there. There you go. Okay. And then, let's see. What do you want to do with these? Just close this up over the head. And... Really? Okay. Okay, let's combine him. I don't know where to start. Well, let's go with the feet. Um, wow. I got these legs. <laughs> I'm going to assume they go like this. Uh, the blue one is supposed to be on this side. Is this even correctly put together? It looks correct. I don't know what I did wrong, if I did anything wrong. Oh, I see. There we go. So we fix that. I don't know where this goes. Well, here, let's put the guy together. And we'll worry about the rest later. Okay. Okay. Definitely don't like the way this is hanging out. Okay. And then I'm going to assume this one goes on top. Okay, there's pegs and peg holes. Gotcha. Let's move this like this. And then what? These guys lock in here. And here there's like pegs Okay, so far so good. Just don't know what to do with the legs here. Okay. And then arms. Okay. And then... Pegs are a tight fit, but I guess they kind of have to be. Okay, so far, so good. He looks beefy. Now, you can see we got weapons here. Um, turn the fist. You can give him this and this. And could figure out. Like, there's a club and a sword, but out of scale at this point. Let's see if we can figure out how the feet go on. Right, give me a sec. Okay, so two more things we can do. We can put the sword on here. And the club. Hold up. 
to pull his hand off. And then it says the feet go into these pieces down here. Oh, I guess so. I thought the big old red things would be up front. There's one. There's two. Boink. Oh, okay, that <laughs> that looks cool. I, the, the, the arms on this one are just killing me a little bit. But, uh, take a closer look at him as his foot falls off. There we go. It's, uh, decent enough. Again, this part annoys the crap out of me, but what you gonna do? Got a lot open up in there. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's decent. Um... Articulation-wise, you got the up and down. He's limited, of course, because of this piece here. Legs forward and back, although the T-Rex bits get in the way. Now I'm kind of wondering if there is a way to fix that. And let's get him to stand up straight. I mean, all in all, I mean, it's pretty good for a core combiner. I don't regret not getting the Dinobot one. But, um, I mean, I have the Studio Series leader size Dinobots. I think that's the best approach for Dinobots. I mean, as I did enjoy the combiner from, uh, uh, from the Prime Wars trilogy, you know, this guy is fine for something just kind of outside of it. So, to finish this up, what I decided to do was fold up this part up front, which may or may not be actually correct. The instructions are a little confusing to me. Here's the gun combined. Here is the, uh, well, now it's an axe, sword on top, um, the beat stick <laughs> at the bottom there, a club. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, quick look around one final time. But, uh, it's just, I, I don't know, I thought the missile would be forward-facing. I think it would be cool, but, yeah, that's Dino King. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.